Trevor was dropped off at my work. I work at the downtown veterinarian. And um, the lady who dropped him off was a breeder. Basically said that she needed somebody else to take care of him. Um, the other puppies weren't letting him get to mom to get the nutrition that he needed. And he just needed a little bit more care than the other puppies. So we ended up having her sign him over to our clinic. And then we ended up adopting him two weeks later because we decided that he wasn't going to go anywhere else. <laughs> um... A local news station did a story on him. Within about five to six hours, it went national. Within about 12, 24 hours, it was international. And uh, a guy out of San Diego saw the story um, and saw the little cart that I had made um, at the clinic and decided that that would be a fun project. Um, he had a 3D printer. He's an aerospace engineer. He decided that... Uh, he would make this really cool 3D printed cart. Um, he didn't have any measurements, didn't know Turbo, hadn't seen Turbo other than the pictures we had posted on the internet. And literally within four days he said, you know, the product's in the mail, you'll get it in two to three days, try it out, if it doesn't fit, we'll go from there. So, I think that's it. <laughs> in a nutshell. Alright kiddo. <coughs> yeah, big dog. You go, big dog. You go, puppy. I like your blue wheels. Uh, basically, this is Turbo's current cart. Um, this is the one that um, we're making available to other dogs um, on TurboRoodDesigns.com. Um, basically, it's just all made out of 3D printing. And then you got your little razor wheels and then your strap, and that's pretty much it. Fits them perfectly and gives them a chance to be mobile.